<laughs> All right. Today is Friday, July 27th. I'm Richard Scott. I got my dad, Richard Scott, and we got the owner here of Osceola Dane. Miss Osceola. And we're down in Linden, Alabama. We're about to get bees out of this house here and there in the wall. Looks like they've been here for a few years. You said they've been here for how long? About eight years. Eight years. Yeah. So this could be a pretty big hive. It could be. Now you've been stung a few times trying to cut grass back here. Right. So you wanted to get these bees gone. Right. All right, we're gonna get rid of these bees, but let me take you over here and I'll show you what the hive looks like. And it's kind of a cool part of the day. So most of the bees are inside the wall and there's a lot of foragers out but look at the discoloration there you can tell they've been there for a while and, and we've been watching them it's interesting to see the pollen come in and we're in the summer dearth it's kind of the end of july and a lot of bees are bringing pollen in so they're finding a source somewhere out there Let's see if i can get a closer view without getting stung i don't have a bee suit on yet maybe you'll see some of the pollens that come in they seem really calm. Well, now that I say they're bringing pollen in, of course, no bees are bringing pollen in. There we go. There's some. I got the first board down and you can immediately see the hive, see some honey, see some brood. And the bees are really, really calm. They're not even paying us any attention, which is wonderful. Look at that big sheet of honey right there. Hopefully that goes all the way down the wall. brood is back behind that slab of honey looks like mostly honey down here so like we're gonna have to take more boards off and also up there too all right here's what we're looking at so far we've gotten all the way down to the baseboard there and that's all capped honey there and then you've got some brood back in here Probably extends on up there some, but we've definitely got a little ways to go. Got some boards to pull off up here. See their entrance way up there, but that's all capped honey. That's pretty. So this is what capped honey looks like. It's kind of like a just a solid film over the honey, and that is wax cappings they use to uh, basically lock the honey in there. Now these bees are really friendly. Uh, there's probably going to be a big wad of them up there. But we'll get to them.
All right, there's our hive. It is probably about six foot tall, if I had to guess. Uh, it stops right about there. It's gonna block some of that sun out for you. And you got all your brood that's up here, and then from right there all the way down is mostly honey. Probably got some brood somewhere in there, I'm sure, behind some of that. The other thing is about six foot tall, about a foot and a half wide. It's amazing how they utilize the space between the um, boards here, between these two by fours. Your wall studs, it's incredible how they do that. But they've been here about five years, and you can tell they've been here for a little while. You know, the comb is not really that dark. Um, I know it's hard to tell with this video, but that comb is pretty dark, but it's very usable. Anyway, let's see if we can find a queen and get them out of here. All the honey right there. All right, so we've got a good many of the bees vacuumed out. Now we've got some brood that we're about to cut back out and then put in some frames. Got most of the honey. I made a pretty good bit of honey. I'm anxious to try it out, see how good it tastes. But anyway, that's where we stand right now. So time to cut some comb out. Got another hive finished now. We got, it was about a seven seven and a half foot tall hive started from up there and went all the way down to the uh, bottom here to the floor it was all in one compartment between two wall studs we just got a few um, random bees I've actually got a picture and I'll post that too I caught the queen she was up towards the top of course uh, they usually like to go kind of high up and with all the other bees but anyway just some stragglers now so we're gonna seal things back up and call it a day